Hello everyone, this is Aisharya and today's topic is Renaissance in Europe. Let's go to the topic. The Renaissance in Europe. What is Renaissance? The period between 10th and 15th is known as Medieval Age or the Middle Age. It was also aptly nicknamed the Dark Age because it was unenlightened intellectually and spiritually. Constantinople, the bastion of ancient Christian culture and capital of Eastern Roman Empire was captured by Turks in 1453. Fearing ill treatment, Greek and Latin scholars spread from Constantinople. They took shelter in Italy, Germany, France and other European countries. They carried Latin and Greek classics and taught them wherever they settled. This incident was the origin of Renaissance or New Learning. The Impact of Renaissance on Literature Three great Italian writers, Dante, the author of Divine Comedy, Petrash, the father of sonnet form, Boccaccio, the author of Decameron, created a passion for learning Latin. Their poems came to be read far and wide. From Petrash, Shakespeare derived the sonnet form. The format of Decameron suggested to Chaucer the idea of stringing together tales. The Italian poets are spread the ideal, ideals of humanism, man was their central concern. They exalted self-expression as opposed to self-suppression. Machiavelli was another great Italian writer. His prose treatise, The Prince, popularized the concept that the king may adopt inhuman, unethical methods to establish himself. It may be noted in this context that the Machiavellian philosophy influenced Shakespeare's portrayal of many unscrupulous kings and villains. Homer's epic The Iliad and the Odyssey and Virgil's epic The A Night came to have a universal appeal. They had a profound influence on Milton. Chrysoloras, a Greek scholar exiled from Constantinople, started a school of Greek studies at Florence. His lecture on Homer attracted the masses. The Renaissance spread penetrated into France also. It is seen in the lyric poetry of Ronsard, the prose of rebellions and the essays of Montaigne. The Montaigne is considered to have influenced the English essayist Bacon. In Spain, the Renaissance spirit manifested itself in, in the novel Don Quixote, a hilarious satire on absurd chivalrous practices. The impact of the Renaissance on painting. Michael Angelo, Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci and Titan were the most famous of the Renaissance painters. Michael Angelo chose biblical themes for his painting. He painted the picture of Last Judgment on the wall of Sistine Chapel. Leonardo da Vinci created the fresco of the Last Supper on the walls of the Rectrect. Refectory of Maria Delli Gracie in Milan. His other famous picture is Mona Lisa. The smile on the face of Mona Lisa is mysterious. Nobody can say whether it is sad or happy. Raphael's painting of Madonna in different poses and Titan's oil paintings are famous to this day. And next, Renaissance sculpture. Michael Angelo excelled as a sculptor also. He is known for his statue of David and Moses, his statue of Virgin Mary holding the dead body of Christ on her lap is an immortal work. Another great Renaissance sculptor was Lorenzo Ghiberti. It is said that his doors on the baptistry at Florence are fit to be at the entrance of the paradise. And the next is Renaissance architecture. Italian architects and builders become famous all over Europe. Francis I took many Italian architects to France. In the same way, Philip II patronized them in Spain. The churches in the Middle Ages had painted arches and tall pinnacles and spires. This Gothic style was replaced during the Renaissance by the round columns, arches and domes of the Roman and Greek style. St. Peter's Basilica in Rome is an example of this new design. And next is most important of Renaissance is science. The Renaissance encouraged inquisitive 
unquestioning mentality. These led to many valuable inventions which lightened man's burden. The printing press was invented by John Gutenberg of Germany in 1454. Before his time, books were copied manually by the copyists in monasteries. This process was not only expensive but also very time consuming. Only churchmen could afford to have a library but after Gutenberg's invention, books were available at cheap rate. The number of readers increased phenomenally. The first Latin Bible was printed in Italy in 1455. The larger number of books, the sharper grew the spirit of inquiry. In shorter period, presses were started all over Europe. Next, the mariner's compass was another important invention. It helped mariners to undertake exploration of far off regions. Columbus discovered America in 1492. Vasco da Gama reached Calicut on west coast of India accidentally. In 1498, Magellan set out to explore the Pacific Ocean in 1519 in 1521 he reached the Philippines where he was killed his disciple Sebastian del Cano successfully circumnavigated the all over world and returned to Spain in 1522 and Copernicus 1473 to 1543 disproved the Tall make theory that the earth was center of the universe Kepler proved that the earth was the other planets rotated around the sun in elliptical and not in circular path in 1609 galileo invented a telescope with which he proved the sun was turning on its axis many important discoveries were made in field of medicine in 1628 harvey discovered the circulation of blood from the heart to the arteries and from the arteries to vein and back to the heart and the next renaissance and education renaissance promoted learning many famous universities were started at lovain in netherlands St Andrews in Scotland, Wittenberg in Germany and in many other places wealthy bankers gave necessary financial support many kings and popes like Pio II and Leo X also supported them and i have thus the renaissance brought about momentous changes in many fields and i have given assessment here and answer it below and thanks for watching bye